All right, hello and welcome back my ducklings. Um, today we're going to show you how to do the lab can acid rain affect seed germination. So this is mostly to help those who maybe were absent or just need a refresher on how to set the lab up, but that's what we're looking for today. All right, so I already have everything all set up here. I'm gonna walk you through how to do it. This video will be linked in an absentee document and along with that, document will be pictures of you know, taken for the next three days to show if any seeds have germinated and then there'll also be a ruler next to the seeds so that you can determine how much growth if any occurred since that's the data you'll need to collect for the activity but first we're going to work on setting it up so I have 50 milliliters of just plain water and I have a baggie that's marked with my name. Here we go. My name, class period, and control group. I also have one, two, three, because I'm going to put three seeds in here. I'm going to fold the paper towel into fourths. So I'm folding it in half and half again. And then I'm just going to dip it right on into the water. Open it up a little bit. I'm going to put it into the baggie. Okay. So I have it in here. Now I'm going to take three radish seeds and I'm going to put one by each number. So this is our control group. Remember a control group is what you will be comparing all your other data to, your experimental groups. So I'm having three seeds put into my control group and it's a control group because there's only water that was added to the beaker, nothing else. Of course, once seeds get wet, they get a little sticky and they keep sticking to my fingers. Okay, I'm pressing the air out. I know you guys can't see that part. Okay. But as you can see, I have three seeds in there for my control group. Seed one, two, and three. I have it, I got all the air out of it and I sealed it up. Next, now I already went ahead and made all my solutions, so I didn't have to worry about that here. I have 50 mil milliliters of water, and then I added about one milliliter of vinegar. This made it into a solution with a pH of five. So r normal water, like normal lakes and rivers, their pH is on average around 6.5. Remember, seven is neutral so lakes rivers they're at 6.5 just itty bitty slightly acidic i added enough vinegar to bring this ph down to five and just like before i have my baggie labeled with my name a class period and this is the ph5 group so this is our first experimental group because we've done something different to this. The other one was just water. This one has a little bit of vinegar added to it. Remember, just enough to lower it to a pH value of five. I'm gonna take another paper towel, get it all up in there. See, got the paper towel soaking up the water. Or I guess I should say the solution. And then I'm going to put it into this baggie. So now I'm going to grab three more radish seeds. I'm going to put them on top of there as well, or in the bag, but on top of the paper towel. So we got one, and two, 
and three. All right, and then uh, get all the air out and close up the baggie. Okay, and now I have for my pH five experimental group seeds one, two, and three. All right. And now, I'm going to take that, put that over there. We have another beaker. Again, I've already taken care of the um, pH. It's another 50 milliliters of water with about 2 milliliters of vinegar added to it. This changed the pH value down to a pH level of 3. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I already got my baggie labeled. So we have Ms. Komar. A class period the group is pH 3 group and then I already have the 1 2 and 3 labeled all right I take my paper towel fold it in half and half again so it's folded in fourths take my solution my pH 3 solution paper towel all up in there And then I'm going to put it into my baggie. Okay. And now I'm going to put three seeds in there, just like I did with the others. So I have three seeds per group. Three seeds in my control bag. Remember, the control bag only had water. Three seeds in the first experimental group, which was instead of pure water, it was a solution with a pH of five. And now in my last experimental group, we have three seeds with a solution of a pH of three. Okay. And now I have them all done. Now the rest of this lab we cannot show in this video because I have to let them sit for 24 hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them sit for 24 hours and I'll take pictures every time I check on them. The absentee document that this video is linked in will have those pictures within it. And what we're going to do is for the next or for three days from now each day we're going to be checking our seeds. We're going to note two things. One, did any of them germinate? Germinate means that it started sprouting to become a seedling. And then if they did germinate, we're also going to measure in milliliter, sorry, millimeters how big it is. So we're going to be doing that for the next three days. So we'll take, we'll check it, take data tomorrow, the day after, and the day after that. Again, that's not going to be shown in this video, but in the absentee document, the pictures for that will be included. Well, now we just have to put these someplace safe where they can sit, and that's that. All right, so hopefully this helped anyone who needed it to get this lab set up and going. And if you are absent, make sure you double check, or you check, not double check, you check the absentee document for the growth. All right. But until next time, my ducklings, I hope everyone stays safe and healthy, and I will see you later. All right, take care.